Welcome! This video is an overview of a CQG-powered Excel dashboard built for CQG customers. This dashboard dynamically updates throughout the trading day. It ranks markets by their volatility. The volatility is measured by calculating the difference between the upper and lower Bollinger Bands and then dividing by the middle Bollinger Band, which is a moving average. The dashboard is constantly sorting based on the current volatility with the lowest ranked markets at the top and the highest ranked markets at the bottom. Currently, we see the currencies and fixed income are the lowest ranked, while the highest are energy products and the e-mini NASDAQ 100. These Excel sparklines are showing how the volatility has changed over the last 10 5-minute bars. You can see that the e-mini NASDAQ climbed, but right now is starting to go down in volatility. The default settings for this spreadsheet are 5 minute bars, a 20 period look back setting for the Bollinger Bands, and two standard deviations. You can enter in your own parameters. The enter day volume is based on 5 minute bars, and that too can be changed. To change the symbols, click on the symbol tab and enter in the symbols. As this dashboard is dynamically updating the ranking order by volatility, to aid in how a particular symbol has changed within the order of ranking, there is color coding. Please recall that the higher ranked markets by their current volatility are on the lower portion of the dashboard. If a symbol moves one row lower, then the volatility ranking has climbed one row, and its border is red and so is the font color. If the symbol moves down two rows, it is back glided red. If a market's volatility falls by one level, that is it climbs a single row, the symbol has a green border and green fonts. If it climbs by two levels, that is volatility is dropped, it is backlighted in green. This gives you a sense of how the volatility is changing throughout the day for each market. Now to more easily understand the next set of features of this dashboard, let's switch over to a chart in CQG's integrated client. First, I use Bollinger Bands for measuring the current volatility using the current values for the three Bollinger Band curves. Here we see the e-mini NASDAQ. The Bollinger Bands are displayed along with the study displaying the Bollinger Band difference divided by the Bollinger Band moving average. We can see the study is falling just like we saw on the dashboard spark lines. On this lower chart, the Bollinger Bands are actually offset by one. This is what I use for indicating on the last price column on the dashboard, I'll be showing you color coding to indicate if the last price is trading at the previous value of the upper or lower Bollinger Band. I use the previous value because it is a fixed frame of reference. If I use the real-time Bollinger Band, then when the market is climbing or falling, the Bollinger Bands will also move. So on this bottom chart, we see the fixed value, that is the previous value of the Bollinger Band. If the last price touches the lower Bollinger Band, the last column will be green. And if the price touches the upper fixed Bollinger Band, then the last price in the last price column will be red. Now last, down here I have the volume. You can see that I have Bollinger Bands around it. Again, I use the previous value for the Bollinger Bands. If the five minute bar hits the upper Bollinger Band, then the volume will be highlighted in red. Let's return to the spreadsheet. The Euro FX is tagging its lower Bollinger Band. That's why it is backlit in green. Next, I have the net change column. I have the percentage net change, and it is heat mapped, so my eyes go right to the markets that are up the most on the day and down the most of the day. I'm using these bars here to indicate the net percentage change using data histogram bars. Over here on the open high low, see how this is backlit green? That's because the last price is within two ticks of its low. If the last price over here was within two ticks of its high, it would be red. Over here is the volume analysis. I have five minute bars. If the five minute volume exceeds its previous 20 period 
upper Bollinger Band, then this volume will be backlit red. I now have today's volume, yesterday's volume, the percentage in that change, which is also heat mapped. Then over here I have the same symbols in this column as I have over in the first column, which just makes it easier for your eyes to follow what's going on on this side of the spreadsheet. This concludes our video. For more information about CQG products and services, please visit CQG.com.